Much love into your world and here is another episode of Embodied Enlightenment. It seems to be a day of the senses, the day of sensory experiences, we may call that. But yet this episode of Embodied Enlightenment is really taking us all into the next step, the next level. Enlightenment was here for a long time. The Indian gurus told us about it. We have ascended masters. We have a whole history on this planet of enlightenment. But it seems very particular at this time that more and more of us are awakening. And awakening has to do with enlightenment, bringing more light within. And as we are discovering this light and bringing it within, so the part of the embodiment, we come to realize that really there are two very particular ways about this embodying and two particular ways of our being. In 2012, when I went to a silent retreat in Mexico, I got closer again or reintroduced and remembering Ramana Maharashi. This whole self-inquiry and this whole, who am I? And of course, with Mochi, this becomes more alive. And there is something very important about this whole work of self-inquiry, the super consciousness, the I am presence, or whatever we want to call it. There is also the shamanic ways and Dr. Alberto Vialdo that talk about that infinite self. Really, it is all one and the same. All indigenous, all spiritual people have known about this for a very long time. So as we are embodying light and also transforming in a way into a homo luminous, shifting away from the homo sapien, the men and women of the mind, into the homo luminous, the men and women of the light, but also of the heart, we're coming to recognize there is two very distinct parts of who we are. One part is the one that is alive. And that is the one who lives in a world of manifestation, who lives in a world of connection and change and a flow in living systems that the homo sapiens often try to control and influence, trying to make it the way we like it, trying to bring parts in the processes of nature that are always unexpected to have the same outcome. And we're now coming to realize that this hasn't really worked. The world, the earth is sick, is suffering, and we are still hurting and harming the earth as we are not ready to truly embody what is life in its cycles, in its ending and beginnings. And this is one side of enlightenment, but the other side is really the I am, as I was speaking about when we talk about Ramana Maharashi, Mochi, Alberto Vialdo in this infinite. So who is this I am? It's that empty part of self, not the persona, not your status, not the way you live, not your characteristics, not your genes. This is just basically pure consciousness. And that is the infinite side. So when we can embody that and, and come to that realization of the I am, 
and the life that we are part of. Then comes a synchronization and a realization that really helps us to ascend, to awaken, to really experience embodied enlightenment and to live in sacred relationship with all there is. And in that process, there's a lot of help that we can actually receive. We can work with ascended masters and dragons and unicorns. We can work with spirit animals. And all of this are tools to help us to, to stay connected to this I am presence, to stay connected to the natural state of life and the changing state of life the connected state of life and to truly bring our light into the world to find our treasures that we have promised to share at this time so if this is interesting for you then there will be much more to share we are on the way to create something very special around this so if you like it, don't forget to write your comments and your questions. And if you haven't subscribed yet, this is a perfect time. So we're very happy to have you here in the Sonko's Vitality link on this journey of embodied enlightenment and this amazing life that we have yet to live.